electrocardiogram shows that your pumping chambers are not doing an adequate job. Medication will not improve your heart. You have something that we call end-stage heart failure. Your only hope is a heart transplant. A heart transplant? Well, well something like that will cost a fortune. You do have insurance. Well, I used to have full coverage from Elaine's work, but since the divorce, I... Well, I just pay cash for my doctor's visits. No coverage? No coverage. Oh, what an irony. What is? Well, it's just that an honest guy like you can't get a transplant to save his life. Yet bums in prison get an operation for free. What are you talking about? Well, I remember reading an article about an arm robber who got a million dollar heart transplant. No kidding. Yeah, it's true. See, once you're in custody, you're in care of the state. They're obligated to give you any and all medical attention that you're required. Wow. Now you want to commit a crime that'll get you in there long enough for the operation, but not too long. I'm right with you there. Okay, so here's our options. Federal versus state, violent crimes. You know, Ray, I'm not a violent person. Okay, this will do it, Connor. What if you were driving in your car and you got caught with a handgun on your front seat? You know I'm frightened to death of guns. Hmm. hmm. Okay. Well, computer hacking. Computer whatting? Computer hacking. I have a hard time turning them on and off half the time. Oh, I know what you mean. How about drug peddling? Drug peddling? Yeah. That'll put me in prison forever. Mm -hmm. And what would my daughter say? Hmm. Yeah. Ah. Okay, Connor, this'll do it. Burglary. Burglary? Sure. That'll get you in. <laughs> well, what did you have in mind? Like, like purse snatching? No, bigger. Jewelry store? Oh my goodness, not much too risky. A car? A Hummer? You'd never pull it off. Right here. What? SUV, American made, classic wood paneling. Oh, try to find one of those or something like it. Oh, one other thing. Make sure that this particular vehicle has a blinking red light under this dashboard. Why a blinking red light? Oh, that would mean that that particular car has an alarm. You want to steal a car with an alarm. With an alarm? With... You get me so confused. I... Shouldn't I steal a car without an alarm? Oh, no, no. I said with an alarm. With an alarm. Yes. You see, Connor, this would guarantee that nobody would pay attention to what you're doing. Hello, AAA? I hate it when they do that. There's no fuel in this car. The tank is empty. Damn it! How are you today, sir? Who, me? But, well, I'm fine, thank you. Wait, well, hey, listen, we're running a special this month. For $30, you can get this coupon book. We'll give you a free oil change and $90 worth of discounts on future service. No, I don't think so. Let me ask you something. How long have you had this car? Not long, really. Yeah, it's a real nice one. Why, we have one just like it. Well, that is, until my wife got an accident and totaled it. Gee, I'm real sorry to hear about that. Yeah, it's a real horrible thing not having a car. Now I'm stuck with this crummy job selling coupon books to try to get enough money to get her another one. Oh, well, I, I wish there was something I could do. Well, that's all right. Well, after all, what could you do anyway? Well, here, I, I'm sure I can do something. Here, um, how oh, much are they? $30. Would you like to buy some Girl Scout cookies? Don't you usually set up in front of a supermarket? I wanted to, but my mom said I could get more people at the gas station. You know, with the price of gas as high as it is, nobody will have any money left to buy your cookies. See, Mom, I told you. Don't listen to him. You've already sold 20 boxes of thin mints. Uh, how much are they? It's $3 a box, sir. I'm going to take two boxes. $6. Isn't that your car? What? Stop, thief! Hey, get in. I'll help you. The car's almost out of gas. Oh, you're lucky. 
had a friend had a car stolen once. She thought she'd never see it again. Fortunately, she had one of those low jacks installed in the car and the police tracked it down really quickly. Do you have a low jack in that car? Yeah. Beats me. <laughs> hey, he's slowing down. I think he did run out of gas. Hey, you! You forgot your phony coupon book, you thing! License and registration, please. Is there something the matter, officer? No, sir, not at all. Just need to see your license. Thank you. All right, Mr. Reynolds. Need you to step. Need you to step out of the car, please. I hate it when they do that. Back. Mr. Reynolds, let me ask you a question. How long have you been driving in California? I don't know. Maybe 40 years. 40 years. Well, you'd think in 40 years that you'd learn to comply with the DMV regulations, wouldn't you? Your registration tag's a month late. That's it? That's why you pulled over? Pretty much. Now look, I already ran your history, saw your plates, and... It looks clean enough, so I'm gonna give you a warning. But be careful. You need to get that taken care of or you're gonna get a ticket next time, okay? <laughs> but this vehicle is stolen. Yes, we heard the report, but obviously you've got it back, so everything's all right. No, no, wait. What? I stole it. Why, why don't you search the vehicle? You know, you're starting to get on my nerves. Good. Get mad. I need to be arrested. Hey, you stay right there, all right? Marcella, search the car. Oh, hey, looky here, Chief. There's a gun on the front seat. What? Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh, never mind. That's mine. Fell off the belt again. The glove box. Search the glove box. Right, the glove box. Uh, registration says it belongs to a Mr. Mark Oswald. Are you Mr. Oswald? Well, you're the one that just read the driver's license. Hey, aren't hey, you? no wisecracks. I asked a perfectly clear question. Are you Mark Oswald? No, sir. Well, then what are you doing driving Mark Oswald's car? I told you I stole it. Now, why don't you arrest me? Did you find anything suspicious in Just the car? Just a gun, registration, thin mints, hammer, screwdriver set, wire cutters, roll of electrical tape, and a Slim Jim Universal Lockout tool set. Now, I see, there's nothing in this You said thin mints? Two boxes of them. That'll work. Oh, no, not my thin mints. Arrest me. But don't take my thin mints! Hey, are you resisting a law enforcement yeah, yes, officer? Yes, I am! I mean, no, I mean, I want to be arrested for stealing the car. I don't want to be arrested for refusing an officer girl scout cookie! Hey, hey, hey! Well, that about does it. Marcellus, you take one box, I'll take the other. No, 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 no! no. I'm... Oh. Well, that about does it. I can't. We're going to have to take you down and sort this out. Let's go.